What's up, heathens? How y'all doing? This led to amplifying the visual phenomena we observed during the execution of the experiments. We deepened the studies, and we could determine that most optical phenomena, which are attributed to the refraction of light, called Fata Morgana effect, actually occurs by reflection. It is a reflective process of light on a surface with an angle tending to zero. I, I have to handicap myself a little bit tonight. Experiments with boats in the horizon line. To what conclusion did the researchers arrive in relation to the experiments with ships? The researchers realized that after some time looking at the boats with the naked eye, they began to disappear on the horizon. What? <laughs> you mean to tell me as the boats go over the curve, they fucking disappear? Holy fucking shit! No way is that happening! Actually, there is. Yeah, that's how it works. So glad you proved the curve. First, the hull. Then, it was no longer possible to see the boat. And finally, the mast lowered until it disappeared completely. Oh, fuck, are they proving the curvature of the Earth right now? Okay, I did not expect it to go this way. Thank you, everybody, for this. Um, this isn't candy, it's peanuts. But thank you, we have proven the curvature of the Earth through a Flat Earth video. I can literally suck nuts, y'all. Suck these nuts! Okay, I got a lot of protein, thank you. As the spherical Earth theory explains. Okay, before these people start talking, with the boats going over the horizon, people often say that, oh no, you just gotta zoom in farther and you'll be able to see it. Well, actually what you're seeing is light that is bending along the curve of the earth uh, you can see this when uh, you know, when you're in, I believe it's Michigan, and you're looking out over to the Chicago skyline, you can see more of it as the sun, like, goes down. Like, it's like the, the light bends over the, the surface of, of the water and bending with the curvature of the Earth. Same thing happens with boats. You see a mirage kind of image where the image is sort of flipped because it's a mirage. That's how mirages work. But you, you see, basically, a, a false image because of how the light is refracted off of the atmosphere sphere off of you know particles in the air and everything like that so that is what it's doing they go a different route though watching the boats with the naked eye the initial impression is that they were disappearing as if descending behind the horizon line oh yeah because they are descending over the curve of the earth interestingly enough this is kind of the first place that it actually um the first way that we got the uh inclination that we were a sphere uh, i believe it was ancient grecian like um sailors they would notice the boats they would disappear from the bottom to the top when the boats reached a certain distance it was no longer possible to see them with the naked eye for a moment we were a little frustrated to be in the place to prove the sphericity of the air as with a naked eye we could easily come to that conclusion does this mean that the earth is even spherical yes it does Oh shit, we got satellites and we got computers and we got people on cell phones and god damn it, this is getting scientific as fuck. With the loss of eye contact, it's time for the team to use optical instruments in an attempt to still see the boats. Good going. Bring out the huge ass fucking telescopes in order to see it. Good job, guys. If the boats are still visible through the equipment, it's proof that they have not traveled below the horizon. Oh, they hadn't? All right. First of all, I would like I would like to point out here that the scale of this image is fucky. It is fucky beyond fuck. First of all, ships would not be that big in relation to the curvature of the Earth. Like, those are some big fucking ships right there. And to everyone's surprise, the boats were still there, visible. No, they're not! They're not fucking there! You see the antenna on top of a fucking boat. You don't see the boat. The boats aren't there. It's underneath water. It's on the other fucking side. The researchers realized that the images of the equipment presented some optical phenomena. 
Okay, so this is a perfect example of the mirroring effect. I don't know if you guys can tell, but obviously there's the the very top of the boat, and then you're actually like like the the curvature of the Earth is actually higher. But what you're seeing is you know basically the mirage, and it's it's causing it to look lower. But it's actually just that image flopped. During the experiments, we perceived the formation of optical phenomena that we initially attribute to the Fata Morgana effect, which is the refraction of light in the layers of the atmosphere. This That's exactly what it is. I am intrigued as to how you explain this. This phenomenon is very common in deserts. There are the famous mirages. The mirage is the Fata Morgana effect. A formation of images occurs, virtual images images that are not real at specific points. Through the observations and the collected data during the experiments, we were able to determine that the optical phenomena had a certain pattern. After some distance, we began to have a visual loss, which increased to a distance where our direct vision was compromised. When we lost the view with the naked eye, we used optical equipment, in this case the telescope, and the boat was still there, only... I choked on sucking nuts. We realized that it was an inverted image, a mirror image. We realized that the real image was practically disappearing, and we had the formation of an inverted virtual image, an inverted mirror image, when the angle of incidence of light on the surface, in this case water, tended to zero. Mirror this effect. occurs because of the mirroring effect, where the reflection of the image occurs. This phenomenon we recorded for the first time in Lagos dos Patos in Rio Grande do Sul. During the research, we sensed that each state of experiments was complementing the other. With the unfolding of the experiments, we perceived that the optical instruments amplified the visual phenomena. In the case of the use of Newtonian telescopes, in which its optics, which is of extreme precision, amplifies thousands of times the capacity of the human eye could... Okay, yes, it is very, very precise, that ex the, the things that you use, but still doesn't mean that the Earth's flat. ...see things that we did not see. This led to amplifying the visual phenomena we observed during the execution of the experiments. We deepened the studies, and we could determine that most optical phenomena, which are attributed to the refraction of light, called Fata Morgana effect, actually occurs by reflection. It is a reflective process of light on a surface with an angle tending to zero. Right. With the observations we make, we have been able to promote a new physical theory that explains the Fata Morgana effect from a new optic, a new point of view. Uh, oh, aha, uh -huh. oh, okay. So let me get this straight. Let me see if I understand this. Tell me if I'm wrong here, guys. They observe the mirage that occurs, you know, as, as the ship disappears over the curve of the earth. And so their answer is to invent a wholly new theory with no basis in reality in order to confirm their preconceived biases. These are not scientists. If they are scientists, they need to have their scientism cards revoked. These are not scientists. We call it the theory of optics applied to visual phenomena. What? In the fuck is that? This conclusion helped us explain three phenomena that we know are illusions. Okay, how? Can you please give us insight into how it does that? Why the boat seems to disappear going down the horizon line? Why first fades the hull and then the boat? And why when an observer is taller can see farther? We conclude then that boats don't descend at the horizon and that we lose the ability to observe them to see them in function of an optical phenomenon. That's not telling me how it fucking works. That's just saying, oh, they don't disappear below the horizon. You just can't see them anymore. That's not an explanation for anything. That's just lazy work. That's like lazy shit right there. With this experiment, one of the main arguments of the spherical Earth theory that boats disappear on the horizon due to the curvature is totally refuted. <laughs> totally refuted because they're just like uh oh, nope we're gonna totally forego the mirage thing and we're gonna invent a totally new thing that explains everything but nothing at all at the same time Ooh, she getting savage she's pissing on things now she doesn't do that very often but <laughs> sometimes she'll cop a squat okay it my, uh, my lawyer is telling me that that is not true about my vp of godless engineering uh, uh, vp could you get me another bud light Thank you. This is the first proof of the flatness of the waters. No, it's not. All 
Also, I'd like to point out how she said, we first observed this over here. And it's like, well, I don't know if they meant like first observed it during their experiments or first observed it ever. And so they feel like they are making up a whole new thing, which they, in the end, they did. They made up a whole new thing and then didn't explain it and said, that's why you can't see it. I mean, holy fuck. This is some kick-ass fucking music. Experiment with long-range telescopes! Come to the dark side.